Hi everybody, welcome to another Scrappy Saturday. I'm Lisa and thank you for joining me and giving me another opportunity to show you something that I really enjoy doing. Um, today we're going to make this card, but I have found from trial and error that I'm going to tweak it just a bit when we're doing it. Um, I love the way that the dryer sheet with the glitter has this awesome effect. However, um, I think I've used the wrong glitter when I did this last one, and it's really obscured the leaves. These are like fall leaves, and then this one says grateful for you, and uh, sometimes that's hard to see. So I've decided I'm going to pull that one on the outside, but this is the general idea for what we're doing today. This is a fall uh, this is a file card, and like I said, this one's just one to send to tell somebody that you're grateful for them. Um, I'm using several kinds, of, uh, several colors of inks on this today. Plus, I'm using um, em embossing powders. Um, I'm using the Versa ink marker, um, and um, we have to have that one out there also. And then I'm using uh, several different kinds, colors of embossing powder um, because I'm also using the aqua, aqua pen and I'm painting and doing water painting on this particular card. Um, the first thing, however, I want to show you is this particular set of stamps because I'm t using the leaves from this set. Um, it is the uh, vintage leaves and there is also a leaflet thinlet uh, set which I've used um, to cut out this one and as you see I've already stamped on it the, where it says grateful for you. Um, the only thing is, is I'm going to sponge around that with the Tangelo twist. Uh, but those are, the, those are the particular sets that I've used on this one. Uh, the grateful for you came out of the um, for all things uh, stamp set. Um, I'm not sure if that one's new or not, but I really like it. Um, now, the paper that I'm using, this is cut at four and a quarter by 11. This is the um, tip top tote. And I'm using it, even though I'm using the brown sugar, because I use tip top tote on this one and this one just didn't um, it was almost too dark so I'm going to be using it with the baked brown sugar I'm still using this tip top tape because I just like the way it looks and then I'm using I uh, actually this is uh, as I said four and a quarter by eleven and then it scored in half at five and a half and then I've got the Dijon, delightful Dijon and it is cut at four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And then I got the uh, Whisper White cut at four by five and a quarter. Now the inside, I've already taped that in here and this is kind of just like the design, uh, air, the, uh, the, the sentiment area or the, just where you can put uh, anything, write something to someone. And, I cut this one actually at um, four by five and a quarter, the Dijon Delight for it, and then I did this one at three and three quarters by uh, five to go on the Whisper White there. I've already got that much done for you. And um, now, here I take a dryer sheet, a used one. This one I ironed because I found that sometimes you can see through a little bit better when it's ironed than when it's not. So I didn't iron the one on the other card, but I'm, I ironed this one and it made it really flat and it's, you can see through it. So the first thing, however, that I'm going to do, put this to the side for a minute. Um, I'm going to take this and I'm going to be stamping with the Versamark. And we'll be speeding up some things through here because I'm going to be doing some using the embossing uh, gun or the embossing heat tool. And so when I'm using it, we'll just kind of um, either cut out, cut back in, or we'll go fast through it. Uh, the first thing now I'm going to do is start with the largest leaf that I liked that I'm going to put on this. Uh, there are 
the other leaves on that but this one I wanted I really like the shape of it and these leaves have like lots of veins running through them so they look really nice um, and I'm gonna put that one right here in this top right hand corner I'm, I'm making sure that I press down good in the middle without rocking because I don't want all those little boo-boos around the edges coming out and um, one thing I've just realized I forgot I forgot to use my embossing buddy sometimes however with this one it's not too terrible but um, make sure that that has plenty of time to transfer all the way pull it off now the one I'm using with it um, is my um, espresso um, the dark espresso color and um, I'm just gonna take it pour it on I'm like I said I'm mixing some of these because I'm I'm just basically been experimenting and see what they look like when they come out and mixing the browns together seems to work when it comes to the leaves so you're gonna see me using several brown shades of brown uh, together on this and to get me that fall leafy looking color that I like all right now I'm going to emboss this Okay, now that I've got that on there, I am going to um, move over to the to the leaf at the that's at the bottom, and I'm going to put two together on this one. Um, this is going to make for a little bit more. Um, it's going to take up a little more space, I think, and I, I'm actually not even going to do the whole one for that one but it's just going to be coming off of the page a little bit but i thought it would still be interesting to pull those two leaves together there And once again, I'm just trying to make sure that I've pressed it down in the middle good, that it can get a, as much of this ink transferred as possible because I want it to all come out. See, there's a lots of veins and lots of coloring on there. So this way I've done it. And now I'm going to take the, um, this is actually real red, but it, um, it's uh, I'm using it with the watermelon wonder and it comes out great Finally, the, the last one I am going to emboss with gold and I'll be painting it with a delightful Dijon, but gold was about the closest thing to that as I could get for one of the, for this leaf. And I haven't uh, transferred the gold to a any kind of container yet, so I am just using it straight out of the the jar onto this paper that I have, and then I'll just pour it back in there. I 
don't want to waste any little bit of it, so we're trying to be good stewards of it there. Now, what, I'll even put this one embossed. Now that I've got all of that done, I'm going to wipe my, even though you cannot see this Bertha mark on these stamps, I still want to wipe them off, and I love my baby wipes. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm taking my aqua painter, and I, right here on my, on this worksheet where it's just, it's great for anything, I'm putting some of my colors in. Uh, there's my Tangelo Twist. Here's my Watermelon Wonder. Um, my Baked Brown Sugar. And I'll get a little more of that in there. And then I've got my Dijon Delight. And then I have uh, the Chocolate Chip. I won't use as much of it, but um, sometimes I'll use it for shading. And then I'm going to take my aqua pen here and I'm going to start with this uh, delightful Dijon and try to make sure I've got some water going on there. Doesn't seem like I've got a lot coming out there. There it is. Now and then I'm just painting inside of this because having it embossed it will keep it from running outside the edges too much unless my hand just naturally hits it then that does happen from time to time so but this is fairly easy and quick you just kind of go around it and sometimes it's darker sometimes it comes out a little bit lighter and truthfully that's what you want then I'm going to take just a little bit of this Tangelo twist even and just give it just a little hint of the orange and mix it in with that with that go, the gold and then we'll just you know we just see kind of how it comes out then and um, it just kind of blends together quite nicely and that's how fall leaves are they just it's a blend of fall colors I love fall the colors are so gorgeous Okay, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the baked brown sugar, which is right here. Uh, see, I did remember where it is, and I'm going to start over this. This is actually done with the chocolate chip, but I'm using the uh, baked brown sugar on it, especially over here where the, where the veins and the shading is real heavy. I can use the baked brown sugar, and it doesn't make it so dark. The other one just was, got too dark, and when I was using the um, the espresso um, color on it instead of the baked brown sugar, but I'm just going to keep going over it and getting some of those brown fall colors in there. It doesn't take terribly long. And as I said, that outside edge, because embossing raises the edge, and it just kind of keeps the ink from going outside of where you want it. So, I'm just going to keep going for a minute. And we'll speed this up so it won't take so long.
glue and I've wiped my ink up, I'm going to take this Tangelo Twist and I am just going to go around the edges because I don't have an orange leaf, uh, just some shading. So I'm going to take it and go around this leaf where I have put my message. And rather than putting it underneath the dryer sheet this time, I'm going to stick it on top because uh, it was really hard to read it before and I want to make sure it can be read. So I've got the Tangelo Twist on there. Now I think I'm through with all my inks and I can put all them away. And then we can start with the dryer sheet um, thing and I'm sure you've seen it because other people have done it. Thank goodness that uh, I can go on YouTube and get ideas from other people and then put it in to my own thing. Um, and I know it was on for the Christmas things, but you know, I really like the glitter on the file as well because I've done a lot of fall things in the past and so I really like using it on the file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dryer sheet over here and um, I'm going to hold it just down in this bag a little bit so that the fumes won't go everywhere and I'm just spraying it with this um, tacky spray just whatever I have at my house and I'm just spraying real good make sure I get all the edges don't really want to breathe in too much of it but um, I'm turning the top side that I sprayed now down onto my card and I pretty well had this cut before we started but there's still going to be some to trim off. Oh yes, that looks a lot better. I've got a lot more of my uh, leaves showing on this one than I did on the other one. Now that tacky spray is tacky on your fingers as well. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and cut the trim the edges of the sheet. Doesn't take but a minute but you really need to do it. And then I am just gonna, it's already sticky, still from the sticky spray, but once I get through cutting this, I'm just gonna take just a light spray over, just so it'll have just a little more stick. By the way, I've got this blue paper down. It's my thing right now. I, I don't like doing it on white and that's because when I've got white paper that I'm working on, I can't see it very well if it's on white. So, alright, now come on, there it is. Now I'm throwing, tossing that, and now I've got this, and what I'm going to do, so I missed a piece right there. And now I'm just going to kind of just very lightly spray on there. And then I'm going to take my glitter. It, Dazzling Diamonds is what I, what is the best thing to use. And then I'm just going to start sprinkling over the top of this. And yes, with this glitter and ironing that, this makes it a whole lot easier to see through the glitter and the dryer sheet and oh isn't that pretty I love it I love that I'll get rid of that in just a minute and now for this and sometimes it I think that it's probably pretty hard to um, put um, have anything stick with the glitter However, I'm convinced that this time, and you can see on the back of that, I messed up on a couple of things. But on this one, with these, I haven't had that problem when I uh, stuck these particular dimensionals there. And I'm using up dimensionals that I've had from other things. And then I'm just going to stick this in here the way I think it looks best as another leaf. Right there is good. And it seems stuck. Now, there 
is this finished card and you've got your message on the outside and then your leaves are really shining pretty in the background. Next thing all I have to do is I'm going to take and put the um, uh, put the sticky strip on the back. Well this isn't the sticky strip, this is the tape runner. And Excuse me. <coughs> I guess the glitter's got to me. All right. And then I'm going to glue it onto here. And I only have like an eighth of an inch left around this one, so I have to be pretty exact with it to make sure that it's all able to shine through. And I'm trying to do that with that on. Now I've got this. And I'm going to pop it up on here. aggravating thing is getting the back off of these pot dots. And then we're going to put this right on here like that. And once again, there's only an eighth of an inch, so you got to be pretty exact before you really stick it down, or you won't be able to see it. Okay, there I have it. And here is the file card that I have chosen to do for you today. Um, I hope you like it, and I hope that you will try one like it. Just save all of your used dryer sheets. It doesn't, you don't use, use the new ones. They just don't work, even if you try them. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope you'll do it yourself. Thank you for, thank you for bearing with me again today, and I'll see you next Saturday for another Scrappy Saturday. Thank you.